Now, the Vatican has suggested it may attempt to stop the execution of Tariq Aziz, the only Christian in Saddam Hussein's inner circle. Iraq's Supreme Court sentenced the former Deputy Prime Minister to death earlier for persecuting Shias. U.S. forces transferred the 74-year-old into Iraqi government custody three months ago. From Baghdad, Rawya Rage reports. The international face of Saddam Hussein's regime ordered to go to the gallows. The charge is involvement in persecuting Shia religious parties in the 1980s, including that of current Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. The former deputy premier under Saddam was already convicted on other charges twice before and handed a total of 22 years in prison. His family and lawyers have repeatedly complained about his health condition while in custody and cautioned against political bias in his case, especially after he was handed over from U.S. custody to the Iraqi government in July. This sentence, from a legal perspective, is unreasonable, irrational and wrong. It is invalid. I don't recognize this court because it sentenced President Saddam Hussein to death, and all the arrest warrants it's issued are void. In an interview with The Guardian newspaper in August, he lashed out at President Barack Obama for drawing down U.S. forces from Iraq, saying he was, quote, leaving Iraq to the wolves. He's prided himself as an Arab nationalist, somebody who was only acting in the defense of, uh, of his president, in the, in the defense of Ba'athism, in the defense of Arab nationalism. Uh, he's, he's, he's somebody who's stayed there in prison for seven years, pledging, I will not speak until I am free. He's a, he's a very proud man. He's not necessarily a very wise man. He's quite often confused pride for wisdom. Uh, this is something that, uh, that he, he will want to address at some point. He is very keen to leave a legacy behind. He does want to explain himself more fully. But for now, he's sticking to the line that I'm only going to do that even when I'm free. And that doesn't look likely at this stage. The timing of the verdict is already raising question marks. Aziz's lawyer is saying it's most likely an attempt by the government to distract attention after revelations exposed by the whistleblower website WikiLeaks. The classified documents implicate Iraqi security forces in systematic prisoner abuse and suggest that Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki used his power for political gains. Aziz does have the right to appeal the verdict. His lawyer says they will do exactly that. Political motives aside, the verdict is set to spark controversy anyway. Aziz had turned himself into the U.S. military soon after the fall of Baghdad and had cooperated with investigators. Some say he should have received leniency for that, adding that the cigar-wielding Christian politician, who unlike other Saddam confidants did not belong to the former dictator's Tikrit clan, was merely an embellished front for the regime with minimal involvement in domestic policies. Rawi Al Jazeera, Baghdad.